Are we on? We're on. We're live. Are we really? You look wonderful. Hello, Guggins. Better looking of the Hickens. You are. You're definitely the better looking of the men of Hick. At least better looking than Drew Drew. And Brooks. And Brooks. All right, that's fine. I wasn't gonna say Not that. Danielle. Say it. No. 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 I felt like What's I, up? I've put a lot of pressure on young Drew Drew in the last few days to mm-hmm. come through on your decree for the quality gift. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if he's going to come through. What's the feel you. you're getting? He's been very resistant. Has he? He's been very resistant. Like, you know, yesterday like was his birthday, and I, again, took him to... I'm like, I think he turned 24. 24, more or less. What Hard age to remember. You, what age do you stop giving gifts to your kids? <laughs> I mean, I'm curious. Does anyone out there can tell me? What age do you start getting gifts for your kids? Because I'm, I feel like I'm running up on that right now. Do you start getting gifts? <laughs> no. There's, there's a window there where you don't really have to buy them anything because other people buy them things. My, my question is, do you give a 24 year old a birthday present who's your son? Yeah, I think taking him to dinner is enough. That's what I did. Yeah. But I also gave him a gift. Oh wow, that's generous. Well, I think my wife gave him a gift. Mm. You know, she gave him money, so... She gave him money? Yeah. He should turn that money around, pay it forward, use it on your gift. Exactly. Circle of life. That's how it works, but he's been nothing but a... He's a leech. A disappointment is gift giving. He's a sponge. He is. Take, take, take. Yeah. Look at that. I hope he's watching right now. Look at that. Total slacker, as Patrick says. That's right. Thank you, Pat. Drew Drew's somewhere right now, I don't know, finger in his nose. Dude, God only knows. I'm right. just filling in. You're helping out. I appreciate it. I like to do after the drill. I That's had a fun drill show today. Did we rip Prosser on this show? We can. Oh, okay. It's, do you normally? It's not part of the trust tree. Oh, no. We okay. have. Not, not, you know, aggressively. All right. So we don't uh, have to do that. I always fear that Prosser spies are out there watching the after drill show. Are there any Prosser spies out there, know. or do you want our me friend, to rip them today? Our friend Christopher is watching. We know and love Christopher. Chris? Christopher. Are you reading that? Yeah. I can't see that. Remember, Dan, I got the LASIK. Thanks I, to my I, friends at... Atlantic Eye Institute. I can't, can I can't see a damn thing on yeah, that Yeah, you're blind as a bat. Yeah. Uh, Dan, yes. you're a recruit, Nick. I am. You I love do it. love it. You love it. You go gaga for it. Yeah. Help me. Okay. Help me. All right. As a beginner's guide. Time how is shoot. a Sorry. How is a mid-major fan? <laughs> yeah. Do I... Do yeah. I get into recruiting? Because I tried to. I go like two four seven. That's hard. Was, that, that's a fair question. It's like three star city. Yeah. You know, we're like ninety seven on the two four seven rankings. I'll, I'll say this: I think as a mid major fan, you have to be even more of a recruit, Nick, than a fan of a, a, a or an alum of a, of a program that's you know a top twenty five program because you really have to dive in right. and know who are they recruiting. Who are, you're? You, you got to be on the message boards. You got to. I love all the th- like. I'll give you an example. I saw. Um, uh, we had Carson Beck down at the studios last night, CBS Sports 7, Fox 30. He's just a junior, by the oh, way. Oh, he's a good player, though. But, gosh, what a really good football player. And, and he's so, committed to Bama, right? Yes, he's yeah. committed to Bama. Um, and he's gotten offers, starting to get offers from other schools. Florida has offered him, by the way. Um, so, too, has uh, Miami. And they're, they're all going to offer him. I mean, he's phenomenal. He's a big kid. He fits the bill every way, shape, or form. As far as throwing the football, he's he's tremendous. Um, but it's fun to, so the kids in your area, you also get to learn about a little bit. And so I like doing that as well. So that's been kind of, that's been kind of neat to, uh, uh, follow and, and I'll be, it'll be fun to watch him, uh, next year. They will have to, at Mandarin, by the way, all the kids that he threw to were seniors. So they're going to really have to, uh, to reload it up, uh, with him for next season. But he's a tremendous talent. And look, he battled through a lot this year. A lot of, you know, he had injuries in the beginning of the season and things of that, that line that he fought through. So, got much respect for the Mustangs program, 8A, Carson Beck, and going and winning a state championship. That's big boy football. That's big time. But anyway, to get so, so you follow that little area. Well, your mid major team's not even from this area. Right. So, you don't even, so, the, so that doesn't help. It's hard. So, it really is. I, I don't, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it you tough. have to be on the, 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 the team sites. Like, I was on 247, I watched some yeah. of the videos of the guys. I saw they got, like, a, a dual-threat quarterback from down here, from, like, mm-hmm. Palm Beach area that mm-hmm. Michigan had offered. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't read those things. Uh, what are the boys uh, saying? Your friend Christopher said, uh, he's uh. referencing our friend Prosser, mm-hmm. and he said, uh, the word is heel. What a rube. Uh, that's a reference to the Doc Murphy segment, yeah. in which uh, Prosser was talking about an injury, oh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> I couldn't remember the word heal for yes, an injury. Yes, yes. Uh, how it would heal, how an <laughs> injury would heal. That's what happens when you have surgery, it heals. You mean I helped him out with that? You helped I, I didn't think he, he gave me a dirty look He's on that. He's tossing a little softball. I don't know if the, he thought maybe it made him look bad. Yeah. It's fine. Listen, I'm a, I, I won't be here tomorrow. No. 
Uh, I'm playing in the the uh, Christmas Cup golf tournament. Mm. Uh, this is an exciting thing for me. I don't play in many golf tournaments. No, but I know this one's near and dear for you. This is a 36 hole extravaganza. Yeah, this is big time. In which, by the way, we we do earmark money for charity. Well, that's fine. Then. So if we it's for some, a good cause. Yeah, so we and you have a money, good time. Throw some money into charity. It's just a bunch of local yokels and uh, some of the dudes that I know, and we'll go slap it around. And now well, the I don't know how many. I think they have like 24, 24 to thirty people. In the Christmas Cup this year, I thought of inviting Jeff to play with me, um, but this one is, uh, you know, again, you're giving money, right? And you know, getting money for prizes is like getting, you know, blood right. from a turnip. I mean, he'll promise the money, yeah. But then I didn't want to have to sit there and pony. Yeah, I didn't want to sit there and have to pony up yeah. for him as well. Yeah, yeah. You, so I don't even know where we're at on the dime board, but yeah, you don't want to put any more cash in no. the coffers, no, uh, for the prospect. I'm gonna have to leave my or call in my Friday five pack. Yeah, too, right. Yeah. You might. When do I get penalized and get automatic going five? Do I have to have it in before you guys do the thing, or do I have all day Friday? Uh, that's tough. Yeah, that's a good question. Money, you need to give me an answer. Yeah. I think I think you need to get it to me by by the time we do the bit. Okay, that's I think right. it needs to be delivered with the other five packs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, only in fairness. Okay, they don't get an extra twelve hours to think about it. Okay, why should you? Uh, uh, one I'm already taking is Miami over Jackson. You have you booked that one. Yeah. You marked it down. Yeah, in ink, no less. Yeah, you locked it I in. Lean him back here. Let's uh, just yeah, up like yeah, you this. can do whatever you want. Look, Dan, you're my guest here. You do whatever you want. Again, I cannot see any the of big these stars things. here on After Drill. Thank uh, you. Me, Drew. Uh, Velvet Elvis is always a big hit. Uh, Love Elvis. Sticks when he comes in. That got controversial for a while, the Velvet Elvis. It got, like yeah, our, it was a, it was a point of contention. But we got through it. Uh, she did teach us a great trick, though, of how to reverse the camera so our shirts aren't backwards. So uh, big ups to her. Okay. Even after the, the flap over the Elvis, big ups to that. Now, what, what are some of your duties after this is over? Uh, how long does this go, by the way? Eh, you know, 10 minutes or so. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I let, you know, you're the star here, Dan. What did I'm you think of today's on. program? It was uh, our last one with all four of us. It was our last us. with the full team in tow. Yeah. Uh, like you said, you're off tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Jeff is off all of next week as he'll be on uh, the con- the cruise. If i got to hear about that cruise one more time. I'm getting a little tired of hearing about the cruise. I can't wait for the I'm cruise. I'm excited for him to go on a cruise. Done. He's never been on a cruise. He's never been in his life. And he's Hopefully there's a, a good story. And he's going on a seven-day cruise. I don't want to wish any ill will. Right, but you got to have one story right. where you know there was one night where the bad. boat was rocking and I got right. sick, or there was or, like a fire drill or something. Yeah, yeah something. Yeah, we got to get out of the. Camp. But imagine, imagine being out there with Jeff. Like I didn't want to tell him. Like one of the one of the first parts of the cruise, as you know, being a cruiser, uh, is when you have to put the life vest on and go to you know the safety dock seven or whatever. Yeah. And so he'll be ticked about that right off the rip. The safety thing right at the beginning is a big pain in the ass if you've never done it before. Yeah. Like, you don't know what's coming. You don't know. Nobody warns you. Yeah. My first cruise, nobody told me. Yeah. I'm like, what? It? And we're standing on the side of the boat me, like really? 40 minutes listening yeah. to drone out. Yeah. I'm like, look, if something goes down, we're all going to die. Yeah, that's it. It's over. <laughs> it's, it's the Poseidon. It's flipping. Right. You know? It is what it is. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, yeah, he's not going to be happy about no, it. No, so that'll no. be good. But, yeah, hopefully he has a good time. Yeah. And we won't miss him. But we'll see. No, we'll roll on. We'll be yeah. so we'll be here. We'll be here Christmas Eve day. Christmas Eve we're day. Working. And we'll be back. What an edict 26. from the bosses, man! They yeah. threw that one down. Oh, you won't be here. though. I won't be here though. I'll be at the cabin with the fam. Yeah, you're not going to be here Christmas Eve day. I will be here. You'll be here. Lauren, Lauren will, will be, be here. here. And who's filling in? Sticks. Sticks will be on the board. Okay, Christmas Sticks is doing Eve. the board. So. And that's it. That's it. That's your dream team Monday, Christmas Eve. Then you'll uh, be back Wednesday. We I'll do have Monday. Tuesday off. We have Tuesday off. We also have New Year's Day off. And then I'm and I'm off Friday because I'm gonna drive up to Atlanta for the Peach Bowl. Right. So you're off the next uh, few Fridays. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm off Friday the following night. Friday for a uh, little flag football tournament. Sure. All right. So it's well, yeah. good. A dad's job is never done. I'm trying to be around. Yeah. Got to be around. around. Got to be there for the kids. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Safe travels, Hick. Thank you, bro. Enjoy the uh, enjoy the golf event tomorrow. Is that it? That's the printer cameo by the printer is always good. Who's printing right now? I don't know. People print and then they come in. We give them the stink guy. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah, it'll take it'll take thirty minutes for that damn thing to actually switch the paper out. We don't have a so, top of the line printer here. No, this is. I don't Arcade. know where the line is, but that is the bottom of the line. Okay. So Whatever you won't the name line the company. is, the printer. I won't name the company or who provides it to us because kids with an I don't want to get people in trouble, but it, it's not okay by me. Uh, love you. Ah. We'll talk to you tomorrow, <laughs> or will we? Are you turning us off? I'm turning us off. Say bye, Dan. Bye.